Faceless horror stories YouTube channels are raking in substantial profits, much like this one. With millions of subscribers and videos consistently garnering hundreds of thousands of views, it's no wonder this channel is reportedly earning $40,000 every month, according to Social Blade. But what if I told you that you could produce captivating horror story videos using only free AI tools? That's right. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through the process step by step. First, we'll generate a spine-chilling script using ChatGPT. Then we'll bring the script to life with animated videos for each scene using Pixverse and Leonardo AI. Finally, we'll create the final video in CapCut. Let's get started. Now, let's head over to ChatGPT and request a horror story tailored for a one-minute YouTube video. Feel free to customize your prompt with additional details, such as characters or setting. You can also ask for a longer script. Once you've got your script ready, it's time to bring it to life with animated videos for each scene. I'll be utilizing the Pixverse AI text-to-video generator for this task, as it's entirely free to use. Whether through their website or on Discord, you'll need to create an account. Once logged in, simply click on the Create button to begin. Here's where you'll input your prompt. You can even upload an image to animate. Provide a prompt describing a scene from the script. Keep in mind that ChatGPT offers descriptions for each scene in the script. I'll employ this description as the basis for creating the video. I'll enhance it by adding extra details to intensify the horror and darkness while removing unnecessary elements. The negative prompt allows you to specify anything you don't want to include in the video. Enabling dual clips will generate two videos with enhanced creativity, but you can leave it disabled for a closer adherence to the prompt. You have the option to choose from four different styles and adjust the aspect ratio here. Click the Create button to generate the video. The generated video will be displayed in the main area and will be accessible under My Videos. Click on the video to explore more options. You can use the Go Create command to adjust the prompt and generate the video again, or simply use the Retry command to regenerate the video without modifying the prompt. The default resolution is 1024 by 728, but it can be upscaled to 4K. I'm choosing not to upscale because I believe the lower quality enhances the eerie feeling of the videos. Click here to download the video. It will be four seconds long, include a watermark, and be publicly viewable. If you prefer not to have your video public, click here to delete it. However, please be aware that deleted videos cannot be recovered. Now I'll simply repeat this process for every scene in the script utilizing descriptions from the ChatGPT script and crafting my own prompts. I also utilize Leonardo AI to create images for select scenes. To begin, click the Image Generation button. I'll generate an image for the first scene, depicting an exterior shot of an abandoned mansion. I will use a negative prompt to ensure that there are no lights visible inside the mansion. You'll find additional settings on the left sidebar. You can change the number of images to generate here. I won't be using any of these settings, but I'll ensure that the aspect ratio is 16 to 9. Once you've configured all your settings, click the Generate button to create the image. Each generation will consume a specific number of credits, and you receive 150 free credits every day. Here's the result, and I'm quite pleased with how it turned out. Leonardo provides the option to convert the image into a motion video, and I'm curious to give it a try. You can change the strength of the motion here. Please note that generating a motion video costs 25 credits. I'm impressed by the animation of the moving sky and lightning. However, I'm curious to see how it would turn out in Pixverse, so I'll download the image. Next, I'll head back to Pixverse and upload the image. I'll animate the lightning and zoom in the camera. I'll keep the motion strength at the default setting. Here's the result. Personally, I prefer this video over the one from Leonardo. 
therefore I'll go ahead and download it. Now that I have all the clips ready, it's time to craft the final video using CapCut. CapCut is a flexible video editing software available for both online use and download to your computer. I'll be using the free version on my desktop. Start by creating a project. I'll import all the downloaded clips. Now I'll simply click on the videos to add them to the timeline, arranging them in the order outlined in the script. To hide the watermark, just click on the video and drag the corner until it's concealed. I'll review each video for any necessary adjustments. For instance, if one appears too bright, I'll apply a filter to darken it. Simply navigate to the toolbar and select the Filter tab. To apply a filter, either drag it to the timeline or click the plus button. Adjust the filter by moving it and extending its ends to cover the entire clip. Now let's add text for the script. Return to the toolbar and click on the Text tab. Choose the Add Text option and select the text style that suits your preference. A text element will appear in both the video player and the timeline. Next, I'll navigate to my edited script saved on Google Drive and then I'll copy the text that I want to be displayed on the clip. Ensure that the text element is selected, then navigate to the Settings panel on the right and paste the copied text into the text box. Now, I'll move the text to the desired position and style it according to my preference. Next, I'll add a voiceover. CapCut offers a free AI speech generator. Simply navigate to the text-to-speech tab to access it. You have a variety of AI voices to choose from. Some are free while others require a paid subscription. Once you've selected your preferred voice, enable the Update Speech option, then click the Start Reading button. Once the voiceover is generated, it will be added to the timeline. If necessary, you can drag the voiceover to the desired position within the timeline. Now let's animate the text. First, I'll click on the text element to select it, and then I'll navigate to the Animation tab on the Settings panel. Scroll to find the desired animation. I'll select this one. Then, I'll adjust the duration until the animation synchronizes perfectly with the voiceover. Then I'll ensure that the text element covers the full duration of its respective video clip on the timeline. Now I'll copy and paste the text element, utilizing it for the text of the next clip. Now repeat this process for the text and voiceover of each clip. You can synchronize the video clip with the voiceover by accessing the Speed tab and adjusting the clip's length to match the voiceover. Simply drag the corner of the clip until it aligns with the length of the voiceover. If the audio track contains prolonged silence, simply position the vertical line at the beginning of the silent portion. Ensure the track is selected by clicking on it, then use the split tool. Repeat this process for the other end of the silence. Finally, select the clipped section and delete it. You can also clip sections of a video clip using the same process. After finishing editing all the text, voiceovers, and clips, let's enhance the video with some visual effects to intensify the scare factor. Now, let's insert transitions between clips. Simply drag the transition between the two clips where you want it to appear. You can also change the duration of the transition. I'll incorporate some sound effects at specific moments to heighten the suspense. Navigate to the Audio tab and then select Sound Effects. Search for your desired sound, then add it to the timeline. We're nearly finished, but I feel like the video could use some suspenseful background music. CapCut offers a range of music that's free for commercial use. However, if you prefer to use your own music, you can upload it instead of using CapCut's library. Now I'll adjust the length of the track, its volume, 
and apply a fade-out effect to ensure it doesn't end abruptly. After adding all the audio elements, I'll utilize the copyright check tool. It only checks for TikTok, and there are no guarantees. If you want to be certain, it's best to use music that you know is copyright free. The video is ready, so I'll export it. I'll download it in MP4 format and ensure the video option is selected. If you want an audio file, you can select the audio option. Now, the video is prepared for uploading to YouTube and other social media platforms. Let's see how it turned out. In the heart of the city lies a mansion shrouded in mystery. Once the grandest of homes, it now stands forgotten. Its secrets buried within its decaying walls. Few dare to approach the mansion, let alone venture inside its decaying halls. They speak in hushed tones of the malevolent presence that haunts its corridors, of ghostly apparitions that drift through the darkness, and of blood-curdling screams that echo in the dead of night. Yet, amidst the tales of terror, there is one story that strikes. Fear into the hearts of even the bravest souls. A story of a room hidden deep within the bowels of the mansion. A room that should never be disturbed. Legend has it that to open the room is to invite unimaginable horror into one's life. To unleash forces beyond human comprehension. Those who dare to enter are said to be consumed by the darkness that dwells within. Their fates forever intertwined with the malevolent spirits that call the mansion home. Wow, I'm really impressed with how it turned out especially considering it was done using all free tools. I hope you found this video useful. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.